just ASMR sort of uh, video, I suppose, as it goes and flows. But um, what we're doing here is just taking a nice serene walk through the beautiful uh, local woods of this cabin hole. Um, these are said to be demon woods. Um, they're the hollowed and sacred ground of the most reputable demon race. I've come out here in search of uh, hopes of maybe finding one of them and uh, communicating my desires. Not sexual, just uh, just regular demon desires. I'd like to just have a, f a good face-to-face -face with a uh, cool demon. So. I'd like to ask him what his motives are for doing the things that he does. Um, I've heard that a lot of demons have been uh, have, are taking part in a lot of cool ritual activities, and uh, being a huge proprietor of black metal myself, it's, it'd be just really nice to maybe meet one of those dang demons. So um, here we're coming on. Coming up here, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, let's see if we can zoom in there. That is actually the, uh, no, that can't be right. Yeah. That is the lengthy log. This log has been, has been said to be the, one of the biggest torture devices on our, currently on our planet. One of the largest um, unknown mysteries. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, got a little bit of phlegm, but let's see here. Oh shoot, I'm gonna I might die here. <laughs> okay, I understand now why it's a tor torture chamber because there's a bit of a rock test that you have to pass in order to initially to get up to the dang thing. So. Alright. Shit. Okay. Alright, we've arrived on the log. Now, this is funny because it might just look like a regular log to you. This is where they performed most of their uh, surgeries, various um, mutilation acts. See this green? That's not moss. That's actually uh, encrusted human blood. <sighs> but uh, well, I'm going to take the, the walk of terror on this log here, and I might die. So pray for me. All right, and I took the walk. Now that's a little bit rough. Uh, Hope you guys enjoyed that. Let's see what other what other demon artifacts, treasure troves we can locate here in these sacred grounds. This uh, pathway, I don't know if you can tell just by looking at it, but it's a very, not only is it steep, but the rocks are shambled and they're uh, very, very loose. So meaning you lose your footstep, you lose your foothold nearly every step you take and you could uh, plunge to your immediate death. So, my, uh, my dad warned me about coming out here. He said I would die, so we'll see if I can prove him right. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm f keep falling. I think, I don't think, it, I don't think it'll be the, damn it, it might not be the plunge that kills me. But it could, it could just be the, I fall and crack my head on a rock and bleed out here to death with nobody to stop me. Okay, this is a, qu a good rock. All right. Approaching here on what could be the invisible observatory that I think lies over the hill, I assume. Basically a force field at shelter where the demons conduct their uh, rituals and uh, meetings to discuss their demon strats, strategies. Jesus, this is terrifying. Um, okay, pull yourself together. Shit. sure if I even want to get up there and talk to those dang demons. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, guys, look at this. Alright, we'll, we'll make it. We'll make it. I'm doing this for you, the viewers. My shit. Oh, god damn it. Alright. It's a little hard when you can't use your arms for balancing because you're holding this stupid shotgun mic. Nineteen 
1967, it was said that these demons performed, performed a bunch of ritualistic murders, ritualistic and holistic murders. Uh, I, for one, do not condemn them for it, as they did use the harvested human carcasses for various purposes, structures refor um, such as refortifying their bases and uh, providing their young ones with food. So, hey, you gotta do what you gotta do in these tough times. Oh, okay. You know what? I'm starting to think this all might be a hoax. Because I'm not seeing anything. And I just climbed 1,800 step, uh, 1,800 feet up in the air. I'm starting to lose oxygen. And it just seems like there are a million death traps out here. And, uh, seems like the end of the line for me. Call help, I guess. Um, might have to sit this. Okay. This is what... Man. What a serene and pristine, uh, visual here, out in the woods. This demon alcove. Man. You wouldn't really think that Satan would be a part of this. But, uh, you know, as God works in mysterious ways, Satan works in mysterious ways, so... All praise be to them, both the high and the low. The positive and the negative. The... The yin and the yang, basically. Counter counterbalancing and counteracting each other in the global, uh, polar spectrum of good and evil. Uh, more, maybe more of a prime evil, but... You know, that's beside the point. Uh, I think they're coming to get me, and this might be the end of the line. So, if somehow this tape managed to get transmitted, then, uh, hope you enjoyed some of the things you maybe learned. Uh, history facts, anything else. But, uh, don't come here. <laughs>